Next are a couple of finished drills that we work on. Like I said, sometimes I end up in these moves and I just want to make sure that even if I ended up there on accident, I can finish the move so I'm not stuck in a bad position. Right now, I'm just going to have Steven get in on a sweep single. He's going to start right here, okay? He's right in on his sweep single. He didn't take the shot. He didn't do a setup. I just got him right here, okay? This is where he's going to have to finish a lot. First thing he's going to do is get on his feet and drive into me and get the weight off of him. Okay, go back to where you were. Back to where he was. I got my weight on him. Okay, he's like a table here. I got my weight on him. Steven pops up to his feet and off his knees. He just shoved the weight off of me. That allows him to rotate and turn the corner. So he gets the weight off me and he just works at getting around the corner. Just finishing the sweep single. I'm going to go ahead and let my partner's just going to get all the way in on a sweep single here. And as I start to face him, my foot can spin like a clock. He wants to stop my foot. He wants to chase my corner and get all the way behind me. Okay, another thing Steven's doing here, when he's in on the shot and I got a sprawl, I got weight on this guy. He's on his knees. He needs to get off his knees. He drives on his feet. He shoves the weight off. That, that'll allow him to travel around this corner. Go ahead. Connor and Dylan are gonna do the, the sweep single corner turn finish. I'm just gonna, they're gonna drill together good. One guy's gonna get in. Go ahead and get in on a sweep single, Dylan. He's in, head inside. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and execute the technique. He gets off his knees, drives the weight towards Connor, gets the weight off of him, turns the corner. Go ahead and go, finish. Yep. Finishes the shot. Then Connor's gonna do the same thing. Good, and just keep drilling it. They're just gonna keep drilling it. And notice how the partner's just giving the right amount of resistance, making his opponent turn the corner so he gets a good rep. So we learn to do these little drills together. We can download these reps a little bit faster into our muscle memory. Therefore, we get better at them that much faster. Good job. Okay, another finish I'm going to work on is finishing my double leg, which is another move I'm going to sometimes, out of nowhere, end up with a double leg. I didn't even shoot a double leg. We just got in a scramble, and there I, I came up, and there's a double leg. I might shoot the double leg. I might shoot it and end up with it. Either way, I got to learn to finish this double leg. <clears throat> Couple of things I like to do when I'm finishing the double leg, I follow a few rules. My arms here are like a rope, okay? I have a rope here, I'm tying this rope. If I wanted to tie this guy up so he couldn't walk away, if I tie that rope up here, he can still move his feet, okay? I don't want to lock there. So when I get in here, I lock right here at his knees, okay? A lot of people lock up here. Everybody wants to pick the dude up and slam him down. Okay, I want to control his body. I'm going to tie him up and I'm going to corkscrew him down to his hip. Okay, I'm going to put him right on this hip like a mermaid right here. I'm going to attack his hips. Okay, when I lift a guy up and I slam him down hard, things bounce. I lose my hold. I want to put this guy on his back right away. So when I get in on my shot, I don't lock up here. I lock down here around his knees like I'm tying him up with a rope. I do not want him to walk away. I'm tying him up, okay? So when I corkscrew this guy down, I just step up. I continue to twist this way. I bring my elbow in. My far side elbow squeezes in. I'm driving with my head, and I'm putting him right on this hip. I call it the mermaid hip. I want him to be like a fish. I don't want him to be belly down. I want to put him on his hip like a mermaid. Put him right here, okay? At the beginner level right now, we're just working. This guy's going to belly down, and I'm going to take the top position. So right here, I'm going to have Keegan's just going to go ahead and shoot in on his double leg and freeze. Okay, and then he's going to work at tying Johnny's knees together. He's locking right where his knees bend, and then he's going to rotate and use his head and put Johnny on his hip, just like a mermaid. Okay, do it again. One more time. Keegan's going to do it again, shooting in, tying the knees together, rotating him to his hip. Once again, the point being, I'm trying to tie this guy's knees together so he can't walk. If I can spread my feet and move him back, I'll be able to sprawl on you.